Let's face it, almost all of us have encountered Karens throughout our lives, but have you ever wondered how many of these Karens end up being accountable for their irrational behavior? Well, it may not be too common, but we have a great compilation of entitled Karens who got what they truly deserved. Grab your popcorn and watch how justice is served. This is probably the most satisfying clip ever. Watch as this Karen complains about a crying baby on a flight and threatens a flight attendant saying that she might not have her job tomorrow. Things take a U-turn as soon as this Karen realizes that she may be getting kicked off the plane. Thank you, Tabitha. You may not have a job tomorrow. I want the plane. Who doesn't like witnessing some sweet instant karma? This young lady here thought it would be a good idea to spill Squidward's drinks over. She got what she deserved pretty quick. She's now drenched, embarrassed, and in shock. Was it worth it? This woman thinks that giving cops a countdown to let her go will work. Obviously it doesn't, and she subsequently tackled down to the ground. Some people just need to make things tougher than they should be. People really don't want to mind their own business these days. Watch as this woman tries to act tough and severely fails in the process. She should be glad that she didn't fall inside the bin. I can't control where the city f it, it's trash. Oh, how about that? I got that on recording too. <laughs> I did. This clip defines the saying, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. I wonder why she was trying to knock the food out of the man's hand. Well, that doesn't really matter now, does it? She got a taste of karma, not food. This entitled Karen just had to ruin everyone's day. From cussing to recklessly driving, she truly needs to reevaluate herself. Watch as she tries to dash off but ends up crashing and almost flipping her car over. Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry, Emma. The security guard had just about enough of this Karen bothering others and screaming at the top of her lungs. He couldn't tolerate the disturbance of peace and put the Karen right in her place, giving her a harsh talk as she quietly listens. Some people have a Karen permanently embedded into them. This woman continues to throw a tantrum even while being detained, screaming and resisting all over the place. She even mirrors what the cops say to the victims. Was she thinking they're on her side now? What? Why is she repeating the cops? Oh boy, this lady casually destroys a snowman and instantly gets what she deserves. She'll definitely think twice before touching a snowman again. What did that poor snowman ever do to you? Talk about instant karma. This lady apparently spat on the victims and then went on to harass and criticize them. She even calls the cops just to have herself arrested soon after. Karma strikes again. This little kid threatens store staff and fails to realize that what he done is unacceptable. He learns it the hard way as his father gets to know and immediately teaches him a lesson, bringing him back to the store and making him apologize to each and every one. But, but you're sorry to who, Charlie? Yeah. And, and all the members of staff at ASDA. Embarrassing people, yeah? Because you're a vile mouth little bastard, ain't ya? Not being rude, I'm your dad. And I've had to bring you down here because you disrespect everyone. Racism is very wrong, and this clip illustrates the outcome of a couple individuals being racist out in the streets. They definitely got what they deserved. Off you go, you racist. That's what you said to me. Yeah, what's your language got you recorded? You racist old man. You should never disrespect a cop who's simply doing his job, and you should definitely never spit on a cop either. This woman did both and instantly regretted her choices. Now that's instant karma. When the road says no parking, that means you don't park there. It really isn't that complicated. This male Karen thinks it's fine to park anyway, even if it blocks disabled people's access to the roadway. I hope he called the cops because he needs a lesson for sure. Shades of Africa. The owner thinks it's okay to park in the walkway so disabled people can't access any of these places. That's real nice. This old woman apparently hates bushes, so much so that she walked from one house away to spray bleach onto some bushes that were growing. Unfortunately, she got caught red-handed and had nothing much to say. Go ahead. Go ahead, because I'm allowed to touch you. You were side. in my, no, you were in Let my yard, ahead. and the camera already caught you. His Guess what? This is his It don't matter. Listen, lady, I got you on camera on my side, okay? So get out, my yard. Don't touch nothing else. Here we have a confrontation between two people. One is here to tow her truck, the other is here to stop that from happening. Who's in the right here? 
Okay, can I call the office, please? Please, oh. can I call the office? Okay, listen, so. uh, hey, uh, listen, I, I understand where you're coming from. I understand from. where you're coming from, but what I'm telling well, you is you've already paid $85 for this car to be picked up. Well, you need to call it back and tell them you, that, that you ain't gonna be able to get it towed. You need to get your money back. Cancel the tow. A loud Karen gets cops called on her and her tone immediately switches over to calm and calculated. So Karens do have the ability to be rational, I guess. Mind your business. Nobody else said anything but you. So mind your business. I got the wrong thing. Uh, I don't give a this is an embarrassing one. How did two women get into a brawl inside a swimming pool just because of some splashes of water? Who do you think was in the wrong here? These two women boarded a plane and decided to argue with every other passenger for absolutely no reason. It's truly immature what they're doing, and I can't believe that they've got a kid with them. At least be good role models. Don't touch me. Come back here. Get off the plane. Got that video. Here's why you don't have a meltdown inside the state building and yell at people haphazardly. This young man ended up getting arrested for battery and will definitely need a lawyer now. What's the name of the security? Alright, that's universal. We'll turn around for change, grind a bag. This officer's gonna arrest you for battery, okay? For battery? Yeah, 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 relax. What? He didn't batter anyone. I got a. Watch how a Karen gets professionally handled, causing her to plead in front of the airline representative to let her on the flight after she cussed at his employees and refused to wear a mask. Why would anyone let her back on the flight? You don't want to follow a federal mask mandate, and then on top of that, calling a vulgar name to my employee, it's not going to happen. Starbucks is a great place to sip on some coffee and relax until a Karen shows up and throws a tantrum. This is exactly what happened, and I'm glad she left without breaking anything. This Russian lady was unhappy about the Ukrainian protest going on around and decided to complain. What would have ended peacefully took a bad turn when she spits on a cop and then does it again to finally get tackled to the ground. So this lady gets caught by an employee trying to get a free car wash and immediately gets irrational and aggressive, almost as if she never did anything wrong. It's unbelievable how she gets defensive despite being in the wrong here. Are you f***ing kidding me? You need to leave, ma'am. I'm, I'm about to call the cops. I'm about to call the cops, ma'am. call the cops, you little Now this is a true example of instant karma. Watch as a driver crashes into another car while flipping someone off. This is going to be an awkward situation to explain to her insurance company for sure. This clip will leave you in shock. This woman decided to preach religion inside a store in a rather questionable manner, yelling, pointing, threatening, and cussing. I don't think that's the right way to preach religion now, is it? A homophobic woman walks into the Pride community and makes use of a megaphone to talk against them. Let's just say that things didn't go too well for her. Watch as she tells the people that every one of them will get arrested. Someone just All of you are going to, I'm going to sue the West Hollywood Sheriff's Department, all of you, if you don't right now, arrest whoever just We have it on video. All of you are going to be arrested. We have here, we have Waltz, get this on camera. We have Waltz, we have Gannis. This Karen calls an old man the devil and gets an amusing response. Props to the old man. He's got some great humor for sure. He'll probably haunt the Karen every night now. You're a devil. Get away from me. Oh, wow. Get away from me. He didn't put his hands on me. <laughs> You're a devil. <laughs> Get away from me. I'm calling 911. The judge cut your hands off. Watch as this woman's plan to create drama backfires on her. She refused to wear a mask and argued with some store employees, but little did she know a customer was there to give her a taste of her own medicine. And well, now she doesn't have earphones either. Poor Karen.
Diamond Target by Columbus Circle, and this idiot is bullying the cashiers because she doesn't want to wear a mask, and she's streaming on Instagram. And they love drama, so let's give them drama. Let's give them drama. I saw her earphones, like, fall, like, out of her bag or whatever, like, off to the side. Well, it seems like the world is not short of racist Karens. This woman gets mad at a family for not speaking English, also saying that they don't belong here. She's lucky the family didn't call the cops on her or else she'd be in cuffs explaining herself. You should be sorry for yeah. that. You're in Canada. Hey, Dad. Take a picture. Dad, look at this. Take five of them. I'll pay you 50 bucks for that picture. Learning. Where's your FaceTime? Look at, no, look at this. Learn English. Look at that. Look at this. Learn English. Learn English. Poor, poor, poor. I know how to speak English. Dad, speak it. Yes? What do you want to say? I want to say, please speak English. She's gorgeous. I know how to speak English. No, it's fine, baby. We're good. We're here. Another entitled Karen is angry because she couldn't take a parking spot before someone else. As ridiculous as it sounds, it's true. She even kicks the car to release her anger. Talk about being penny. On her hike. Why are you freaking out? Mike. Okay, where's your license plate? Got that on video, you dumb. Now this is a movie. Watch as Karen yells at Popeye's employees and is confronted by a big woman. The worst part is that Karen was creating all that drama just for a wing. How ridiculous. I'm gonna tell you to give me my wing. Oh yes you are. Oh yes you are. 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 Get out of my face! Listen, no, 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 no. Stop Listen, get out of my face! This short and sweet clip shows everyone what happens if you spit on another person. The Karen spits on a man and gets a quick ticket out of the bus. The person defending her probably had no idea what just happened, but she definitely got what she deserved. A drunk woman inside an airport gets rightfully detained and yells for help, asking people to record her. But what help is she asking for? The cops are already there to help her sober up. Isn't it part of a common etiquette to clean up behind your dog? Clearly, this woman failed to understand and she pays the price, rightfully so. I'm sure that she'll make sure to keep a few spare bags on her the next time she's out walking her chihuahua. The lady in blue tried to cut in line and then got called out, to which she demanded the woman who's recording to put on a face mask and stay away. People really need to develop some patience. Just wait in line. What is the man oh, gonna do with both customers? Shut up. You shut up. Bro, who is this? Huh? This is bro. Huh? You see, nice, positive people. That's what I'm talking about. Nice people. You just wanna <laughs> just because. I didn't do nothing to you but tell you to stay six feet away. Get in line. That's it. And you're, you're still standing right here looking at me, looking stupid. When will these Karens learn that they're not above everyone else, especially the cops? This woman instantly regrets her actions and definitely learned a good lesson after being detained. No smoking means no smoking and shoving a cigarette in a cop's face is clearly not the way to go. Watch as this Karen screams her lungs out, believing that she owns the entire public park. By now we all know how such situations end up. Yes, the cops were called and she was arrested. When will these Karens learn? Okay, I don't Get off my tennis court with those roller skates. There's a sign and you knew it. Keep Go going. Film it. Watch what see what happens to your the last person. Whoa. Since when did a credit card work as an ID? Someone needs to tell this lady that those two cards are completely different. She wasted everyone's time just to finally comply and present her ID. Facebook definitely loved this video, and so do we. Everybody gets ID and mine gets scanned every time I'm here. I can put my phone number right now for you. I'm a lot younger than you. I will definitely do it. And I don't know, I care if you know who I am either. I don't give a fuck. Facebook's about to know. This lady stood in front of someone's property and whined about how their car is parked on the sidewalk. 
Unsurprisingly, the cops were called and I'm pretty sure she was told to just mind her own business. I feel sorry for the cops who had to deal with this. Film you back. Yeah, go ahead, film right. it back. Cause you the one that was trespassing. Ma'am. Cool. You got your phone, call 911. So, so they know that it's her. Call 911, sure. Do it, this is, yeah. this, the, you have a My motion God. sensor that's designed got, to be you painful. You have an object that's designed to be painful that goes off repeatedly you when people walk by. Now this clip is outrageous. The Karen is apparently holding a parking spot for her husband and uses the stroller with her baby in it to block the car from parking there. The patient driver records her stupidity until she finally moves away, but not before getting the driver's plight. I mean, what is she gonna complain about? Ah, oh, Karen. There's no one here. Can you please move? I'm on the clock. My rates are sixty dollars an hour, so you know you're older than me. I charge you every six minutes. Can you please move? Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it's that. It's all yours, no problem. You will. That's your plate number. Would you expect a kindergarten teacher to be racist? Yeah, me neither. Such is not the case here though as this kindergarten teacher acts racist and attacks a woman for no apparent reason. Long story short, justice was served and the teacher was booked into jail for assault. Why are you videotaping this? What are, what are you, like, do we call ISIS here? That, oh my god. Or so get yourself a ice? That's your problem. My skin color is your problem. And she's a kindergarten <laughs> teacher. And you're a kindergarten teacher. Oh my god. Really? Oh my god. Really? Does that trigger you? That does not. Day by day, it gets more and more clear that Karens really think that they rule the world. Take this clip as an example. The Karen demands the lady who's recording to move her car because she wants the parking spot. And to make things worse, she screams for absolutely no reason. Get the f away from my car! Get the f away from me, man, for I slept the f out of you, I'm not playing! Call them! Call them! I am. Hi. I got you on camera. Yeah, you sure do. I sure do. Please get this lady. James! Go, James! Come on, James! Yeah, Come a, on, James! He's got a tumor and it's Come like the size on. of a football. Okay. Wait for me. Stop Leave fucking me with me. Alone. Why are you over here in my car? I don't! Get away from me. I'm not clean. I'm not clean. Call them! Because you said it with me. I don't know you. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Well, maybe it isn't always equal. This clip shows just that. This male Karen creates a ruckus inside of a train after taking the wrong 10-hour ride. After arguing with a veteran and cursing out the conductor, she refuses to get off the train and continues to stir up drama. Some people just need to rethink their lives. Damn, no man, no man. That is not true. And do I have a whole train that's willing to wreck that's willing to pay right there. Did I disturb anybody? You're I'm disturbing me. Get off the train. Yeah, really. Sir, I'm not trespassing because I asked you to get off the train. Well, can I get, can I get my money back? Can I, no, 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 no,